hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel hope you all are doing well uh, in this video i will be talking about cdc guidelines for quality control with disinfection and sterilization in healthcare facilities for disinfection and sterilization cdc recommends that we provide comprehensive and intensive training for all staff assigned to reprocess semi-critical and critical medical slash surgical instruments to ensure they understand the importance of reprocessing these instruments. To achieve and maintain competency, train each member of the staff that reprocesses semi-critical and or critical instruments as follows. Provide hands-on training according to the institutional policy for reprocessing critical and semi-critical devices. Supervise all work until competency is documented for each reprocessing task. Contact competency testing at beginning of employment and regularly thereafter, example annually, and review the written reprocessing instructions regularly to ensure they comply with the scientific literature and the manufacturer's instructions. CDC has listed HICPEX category next to each guideline. Now, what is HICPEC? HICPEC is a federal advisory committee appointed to provide advice and guidance to the Department of Health and Human Services and CDC regarding the practice of infection control and strategies for surveillance, prevention, and control of healthcare-associated infections, antimicrobial resistance, and related events in United States healthcare settings. Uh, now, for this guideline, the HICPEX category is 1B. What does that mean? It means that this guideline is strongly recommended for implementation and supported by some experimental, clinical, or epidemiologic studies and by a strong theoretical rationale. For your convenience, I have added a slide on HICPEX recommendation categories toward the end of this video too. Compare the reprocessing instructions provided by the instrument manufacturer and the sterilizer manufacturer and resolve any conflicting recommendations by communicating with both manufacturers. Conduct infection control rounds periodically in high-risk reprocessing areas. Ensure reprocessing instructions are current and accurate and are cor correctly implemented. Document all deviations from policy all stakeholders should identify what corrective actions will be implemented. The HICPEX categories for these two guidelines is again 1B, which means that these two guidelines are strongly recommended for implementation and supported by some experimental, clinical, or epidemiologic studies and by a strong theoretical rationale. Include the following in a quality control program for sterilized items. A sterilizer maintenance contract with records of service, a system of process monitoring, air removal testing for pre-vacuum steam sterilizers, visual inspection of packaging materials, and traceability of load contents. For each sterilization cycle, record the type of sterilizer and cycle used, the load identification number, the load contents, the exposure parameters like time and temperature, the operator's name or initials, and the results of mechanical, chemical, and biological monitoring. HIPPEX recommendation category for these two guidelines is 2, which means that these guidelines are suggested for implementation and supported by suggestive clinical or epidemiologic studies or by a theoretical rationale. Retain sterilization records for a time period that complies with standards, statutes of limitations, and state and federal regulations. The HICPAC recommendation categories for this guideline are 2 and 1C. What does 2 category mean? It means that this guideline is suggested for implementation and supported by suggestive clinical or epidemiologic studies or by a theoretical rationale. What does 1C category mean? It means that the guideline is required by state or federal regulations because of state differences 
readers should not assume that the absence of an one one C recommendation implies the absence of state regulations. Prepare and package items to be sterilized so that sterility can be achieved and maintained to the point of use. Consult the Association for the Advancement of Medical Instrumentation or the manufacturers of surgical instruments, sterilizers, and container systems for guidelines for the density of wrapped packages. The category 2 for this guideline indicates that this is suggested for implementation and supported by suggestive clinical or epidemiologic studies or by a theoretical rationale. Periodically review policies and procedures for sterilization. Perform preventive maintenance on sterilizers by qualified personnel who are guided by the manufacturer's instruction. The HICPEX recommendation category for these two guidelines is 2, which means that these guidelines are suggested for implementation and supported by suggestive clinical or epidemiologic studies or by a theoretical rationale. On this slide, as you can see, I have pasted various HICPEX categories and their description. Hope I was able to help you gain knowledge of CDC guidelines for quality control with disinfection and sterilization in healthcare facilities. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. See you next time.